Greetings RC friends, welcome to the 5th day of the Props and Wheels 14 day RC helicopter review challenge. Today we have something a little different. It is a 3 channel helicopter like the previous ones but this does not come with a transmitter, with a controller. This is Bluetooth, it is made for Android phones as well as Windows Phone 8. So. I don't know how it's going to fare. I have never flown a helicopter using my cell phone. This is going to be first for me. But this was very inexpensive. I got it from eBay. It was $12.95 and the shipping was free. Tax was 81 cents. So total I paid $13.76. That's kind of low. But of course they are not including the transmitter. So it's like a one less component, main component in the box. And it's brand new, at least it is listed as brand new. And I hope it is going to perform well. So let's open it up and see what is inside. So this is what comes out of the box. This is the helicopter. It is a Bee Wee Storm Bee. I haven't heard about this brand before. Bee Wee. And the model is Storm Bee. And as you can see on the back it says Bluetooth and Google Play Store Android. And over here it tells what kind of phones you can use to fly this helicopter. And the packaging looks really high, high quality. I mean, it's really nice and laminated with a little viewing screen that you can open and close. It more feel like a, it's a box for, I don't know, a tablet or a phone, cell phone. Maybe they wanted to give that kind of feeling. And the helicopter itself feels really nice. It's all metal frame with metal boom. Even this is like little uh, tail skid is metal. And the plastic looks nice. The landing gear, the skids are metal. And it comes with a full set of spare main rotors, two A's, two B's, and two little tail rotors. This is the charger and there are some linkages and connectors for the for the rotors, main rotors. The instruction manual is really nice and glossy and it has these color illustrations. I mean so far everything feels good quality. The battery is integrated and there is this little port to charge the battery and to connect this to a USB adapter. And there is an on off switch. Let me turn it on. A little switch hidden. And nothing came on, which is never a good sign because it, it may say that it was sitting on the shelf for too long and over time the battery completely depleted itself. Although it's brand new, if it's an old stock LiPo batteries you know, once everything is depleted, the LiPo battery is depleted, they don't come back to life easily. So let's hope it's not the case. There seems to be an issue with the battery or the charger or both. So when I connect the charger to a USB adapter, the red light comes on and I connect it to the helicopter from the charge port. The red light is still on and after charging a couple hours, the red light stays on. So I'm not sure if there is the issue with the charger. So in order to test that, what I did was, I used the charger from another helicopter. This is from Airfun AF610. It's a similar helicopter, but with an IR controller that I reviewed. And this is the same type, so it fits here. And as you see, there is no light and then when you connect it, the red light comes on and after a certain time when the battery is charged, this light goes off. So I'm assuming that 
this is working and this charge is not working. I'm not sure. And after you know, charging fully, this light uh, turned off. As you see, it was fully charged, so the light turned off you know, within like 10, 15 seconds. And the helicopter's now, the helicopter now turns on. As you can see the, the lights. But is there enough juice? So in order to test, what I did was I tried downloading the app. So here is the story about the app. This QR code in the manual is supposed to take me to the app. So I go to the web page. And this is the message I get. The page you are trying to access does not exist. Back to home. So yeah, this doesn't work. So what I did try though is directly going to Google Play Store and type in BV Helipad. And that doesn't exist. I couldn't find it anywhere. But after a web search, I was able to find it on Amazon App Store. The problem is Amazon App Store doesn't work on my Android phone. So I had to change the settings for it to work. But I did. So using, uh, I was able to install the Amazon App Store on my phone. And on the Amazon App Store, I found Helipad and I was able to install it. So now I can get the helicopter to work. Let me show how it is done. So, so first you turn on the helicopter by turning the switch to on. And then on your phone, you go to the Bluetooth setting, settings and pair the helicopter with your phone. In this case, it's BB. BBZ301, so I already paired it, so that's paired. And then you start the helipad app. It says connected, let's double check. There is this little menu icon. You go to select devices, and on top is BB. It says connected. And right now, it, is, it should be connected. By the throttle, it is rotating. So here's my phone on the regular controls, touch controls. So I'm going to start and go up. So it's almost like close to full power and and now I cannot do the So I have to give full throttle and then somehow this is not doing the right thing. As you can see, it's already outside of our view. It just went out of our view. So full throttle, give, give it again, give full throttle, get it up a little bit from the ground effect and it is an object thing, so there is a trim function. It's already going down. I don't know if it's related to the to the throttle setting, but it's full throttle is going up. It's very close to full throttle. And if I go forward, it just doesn't it's not doing that. I don't know if it's related to the battery. It's very difficult to control on the phone by the way. It's the turns are very abrupt. I cannot even show you. So it keeps out of view, but when I go forward, like it's very sensitive. It's just not getting the proper control. It's either turning and doing strange things. So now I'm going to land and show you the tilt motion. So to do that, I'm going to go here in this menu and on the control, I'm going to select the motion control. So now motion control is selected. So I control it by tilting it, but you still control the throttle here. So let's. So this is a little better. Do you see? I can go tilt it a little bit and so gently. And I'm. Uh, but turns are still very abrupt. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble keeping it in the view of the camera. So. 
forward tilting, it's supposed to go forward, it's going a little bit. This is a backward tilt, it's coming backward. But the rotations are better than using the stick control or virtual stick, but still it's very abrupt. It's almost like on off, I cannot modulate it. You know, forward and backward is not as bad, but the turn control is almost uncontrollable. So, I don't know if I need to do an outdoor testing, probably not, because I do not recommend this. So the final verdict, I cannot really recommend it. It's not a, it's a good idea to be able to use, like you do with your drone sometimes, your phone. But probably the app is old, uh, this is old. I got probably a new old stock NOS and the battery was uh, almost close to dead and I was barely keeping it up by all close to full throttle. If I put a new battery, it's going to change something. Control wise, I don't think so. The controls are very abrupt and it just, it's a gimmick in my opinion. Just get one, pay a little more, get a good three channel helicopter or four channel helicopter in your budget with a proper controller, either 2.4 GHz better. If not, get a SEMA, for example, which has an IR controller, which is quite good. The first one we reviewed, the JJRC, that's also good for indoors. This, I yeah, I mean, you can play around, but you're not going to learn anything with this. This is a gimmick. Interesting idea, not so good execution in my opinion. So I'm not even going to ask my son to try it out because I wish they provided a controller, like real controller. It could have been so much nicer because I, everything feels high quality on this, but the controllers are not. So that's the final verdict. Day five is over. Please stay tuned for day six. Another video is coming tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.